What is the strangest thing you've witnessed someone do in public? I was stopped at a red light and there was a lady in the car next to me. She was having really sporadic head movements. Not the head bob dancing type, but just kinda crazy. After like 10 to 15 seconds of this her neck went limp and her head just hung forward. The light turned green and I hesitated a moment wondering if she needed medical care and was about to pull in front of her to check on her when her head abruptly jerked back up and she drove off without hesitation. Woman in an immaculate business suit chasing a chicken down the street. I saw a dude with a suitcase, completely naked entering our train. His facial expressions were normal, he looked concerned and stared at his phone the entire time until I had to get out. I moved to a town which had a bit of a bad reputation. The first thing I saw when I was bringing boxes in was a man walking down the street with a bunch of plastic bags on fire. He was holding it like a lantern and was so casual about it despite flaming plastic dripping onto him. Don't actually like the town though. It's got character. I used to work night shift repairing broken down trains. One night I was called out to a train parked up on a siding in the next town. So I went to the job, made the repair and was sitting in the driver's seat chilling and smoking a cigarette before heading back. Alongside the siding, over a fence was an industrial estate with a bunch of units. There was one apparently working, and a loading bay door open. I saw a security guy come out of the door and stand there looking out for a minute or so before he started dancing. The dancing grew into a full-on Michael Jackson-style routine with moonwalks etc. No music, he maybe had headphones, just this guy dancing away on his own in the night. That was unusual, but sort of okay, but he then stopped dancing, lied down on the floor and started rolling sideways back and forth. Maybe five times left, five times right. Then he got up and went back in. I can see he got a bit carried away with the music on his headphones or in his head or whatever that led to the dance, but I don't know what the fluff the rolling about was for. I saw a woman on the go train pull out an entire raw white onion from her purse then proceed to eat it like an apple as if it were nothing. She was tearing up and didn't seem to be enjoying it much. I wrestled in high school and was down about 20 pounds for a tournament. We were walking back to the hotel after weigh-ins and my pants kept falling down, as I forgot a belt. One of my buddy's dads asked me if I needed a belt, and I said sure do thinking it was a joke, or maybe he had an extra one in the hotel. He proceeds to take of his belt, give it to me, pulls a second belt out of his front pocket, and puts in on. And hash X200B, no idea why he had two identical leather belts with him that day, but I appreciated it. I was in a bathroom stall the other day when a little boy, maybe 6 to 7 years old, goes in the stall beside me. He sits on the toilet and starts humming some made-up tune. That was already a little funny but nothing uncommon then he starts aggressively humming louder and louder. It gets to the point where it's almost just shrieking and then he suddenly stops because he's out of breathe. Two seconds later I hear a plop in the toilet and he then begins singing, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I just pooped in the toilet, and repeats this a few times. I was almost passing out from trying to hide my laughter. I once saw a man standing next to an extremely expensive looking home jump headfirst into a hedge, pull himself out, look at the hedge, and jump back in headfirst. He continued to do this for a while until someone nearby asked him if he were okay, to which he responded with, don't worry, this is my hedge, I'm just bored. Still to this day I respect his casual not giving a fluff vibe. Standing in line in a store at the mall when I hear a weird sound from a woman's large tote bag, that is also slightly moving. Could swear I heard a quack? Couldn't be though. Except it was. She saw me looking at her bag confused so opened it and showed me that she had half a dozen ducklings in there. She said she had errands to run and couldn't leave them in the car because of the heat. Made sense, but I think carrying around half a dozen baby ducks in a bag is pretty strange. Once saw a man unicycling through a mall parking lot with groceries bags in each hand. During a snowstorm. No one ever believes me. They don't believe me when I first tell them and assume I said bicycle. They really don't believe me when I correct them and say, no. Unicycle, one wheel. I wouldn't have bothered telling you this if there had been two wheels. Quote. A young couple trying to transport a couch on Vancouver's Skytrain late at night. There was a man running down the sidewalk who stopped when he got close and yelled, strange fruit, and then farted into traffic, somehow not getting hit. 
he, he ran off down the street yelling about strange fruit. Right in front of my house, a couple of guys stopped their car, left it in the middle of the street, and began a fistfight. Then after a couple of minutes of each of them throwing more or less ineffectual punches, they both stopped and got back in the car and drove away. It's that last part that makes it so strange. If an argument had proceeded to blows, then I wouldn't just get back in the car with the other guy as if nothing ever happened. I watched a woman walk into Chipotle, wash her hands for a solid 5 minutes under the Sprite in the soda fountain, and then fill up a trash bag fully with the Sprite and walk out with it. An old dude put down his suitcase and started doing a weird interpretive dance. The worst part is that this was in a crowd of hundreds of people and he was staring me down specifically with a creepy smile. I was a couple hundred feet away and when I looked back there he was. Smiling. Dancing. Eyes locked into me. Once went on a drunken walk alone. At one point while walking though a part of my suburb I heard a, hello, shouted from across the street. I look over and see what appears to be a man who is also walking around drunk. Well he must have been even worse than me, because he proceeded to hug a nearby telephone pole and slowly slide down it until he was laying on the ground, still holding the pole. I was going to the shopping center in a big city, school trip to see some movie and in one village we have been passing through I saw someone trying to cut off a street lamp with a saw. A fluffing hand saw. Also, I live in Poland so we joked that he wanted an outdoor lamp but didn't wanted to buy one. But I was riding the Paris metro one day, when this middle-aged man sits down about half a car down, and is non-stop streaming the most foul, vulgar curses in French at no one in particular. Then suddenly, he hiccups, puts his hand to his mouth and says, oh, excusez-moi, and, after a second, resumes his tirade. I had to turn around and hold my mouth to keep from laughing out loud. I was driving home from the grocery store and saw two guys standing at a bus stop. One had all his clothes off on the sidewalk while shaving his body. The other looked very uncomfortable. I don't think anyone believes me. Openly weeping while carrying a bagpipe while walking the streets of San Jose, California. I saw a man midday on a crowded place piss on a church. He just pulled his pants down and did it. I've worked downtown for 20 years, and have seen some garbage. But two things come to mind, one, a guy riding a unicycle down a busy city street, all while wearing a propeller beanie and juggling. I figured he must have been practicing a routine, or something. Still, the sheer randomness of it made my day. Two, a white-haired old man wearing a sparkly sequin jacket, fiddling with this massive, ancient silver boombox. The boombox started playing some funky disco music, and the dude hoisted the boombox up on his shoulder and just started strutting down the street in time with the beat. Motherfluffer had his own theme music. On a high school field trip we went to DC and a man was staring at the school bus while jerking off. I once watched a man at a restaurant place a bocce ball on his booth and sit directly on top of it. He shifted and lifted his butt cheeks to settle it deep in there. When he stood up the ball was stuck almost all the way up his ass. He bent over, pulled on his shorts and did a little wiggle and the ball fell out of his butt and made a thunk on the floor. A lot of people were watching. He picked the ball up and just said, sciatica, then walked out. Very strange. I was drunk in Benidorm and walked past a middle-aged bloke brushing a leak with a comb. He seemed so content. There were semi-nude women dancing in the windows next to him. He just cared about tending to his leak. A woman lift her skirt, squat and pee on the sidewalk in front of a bus stop. Middle of the day, high-end shopping center, busy intersection. Caught a guy jerking it in a bookstore. We saw a guy take a big McSteamy ride on the beach. Lifeguards were screaming at him and the local police took him away. At Bonnaroo I saw a guy with his pants down, slung out, jerking off and staring at Paul McCartney's end of show fireworks. Then he was showing his slong to some girls and a guy came up and punched him in the back of head, where he then started to hump the ground for a few seconds, then remain motionless, then hump the ground again. And security came and picked him up then. That was wild to watch. I brought my kids to the ocean, long drive, but we started early, and as the kids enjoyed the ocean for the first time a middle-aged woman wearing a uniform of some kind walked by carrying a large, about the size of a small suitcase, cardboard box. She stopped and stared at my kids. It was odd so I said, excuse me, ma'am. 
and she wheeled on me and started shouting in some foreign language. I had no idea what she was saying but she sounded pissed. She was literally spitting as she yelled at me. My kids noticed and ran back onto the beach. Then she shook this big box at me and there was a dull thud as whatever was inside banged around. I dashed around her, grabbed my kids by their hands and jogged away from her. I looked back and she was still standing there. This was at a state park so there were no houses anywhere near there. Weird. 